self-care. Last week, one of my customers told me, Blanca, I don't even know how to do that. Hello and welcome. Welcome to my channel. My name is Blanca Vergara and I am a woman on a mission. I want to accelerate the emergence of the heart center economy. How? By empowering women to love themselves, to heal our old wounds so that they can grow their own wings. But how do we do that? We do that with massive self-care. And you will be asking, well, how do I do that? Because I am not used to. I'm very good at taking care of everybody else, but not of myself. I hear you. I hear you because we fundamentally have been disconnected with to whatever it is that gives us pleasure. Because pleasure has been labeled as bad, egoistic, uh, and uh, even, you know, dirty pleasure. What are you talking about? <laughs> Selfishness. Well, I can tell you, you, they say it in the planes. Before you put the oxygen mask to somebody else, you put it to yourself. If you really love your family, your husband, your children, your customers, if you love, you need to take care of yourself first before you can help them. So what I'm going to offer to you today is a reflection basically in four parts. I want you to think how you are taking care of your mind right now. How are you taking care of your mind right now? Now, are you taking care of your mind? <laughs> what kind of thoughts do you have? Uh, what is your current practice of uh, self-care regarding your mind? Watching YouTube videos, uh, the news. Is that the way you're taking care of your mind? What is a new practice that you could adopt to take care of your mind better? Hmm. Maybe if I read, maybe if I will do some puzzles, maybe if I, what could be a new self-care practice that you could adopt for your mind? Think about how can you improve your mind? Some time ago came this wonderful call, uh, book called Neurobics. And it was everything about taking care of the health of your brain before you need it, you know, to start preventing illnesses like Alzheimer in advance. So start brushing your teeth with your non-dominant hand, eating with uh, your eyes closed, that way you are taking care of your mind. One thing that I have been adopting for taking care of my mind is to play more often with the children. Why? Because that way I keep my mind younger and positive and just play for playing. How are you taking care of your emotions? Are you taking care of your emotions? <laughs> Oh, I can tell you that the way I took care of my emotions was basically repress them. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. So what I do now to take care of my emotions is that I write my journal every single day. And writing my journal allows me to look at how I was feeling. Was I angry at my husband and I didn't tell him? Well, now my new practice is not only to write my journal, but to tell my husband I'm angry about this tiny little thing. Um, by saying that, he knows that I don't like that and he can 
you know, we can have a conversation. If it is a tiny thing, he can just stop doing it. If it is something important for him, we can reach an agreement. But did everything started because of the journal, because I started an exercise of self-awareness. Number three, how do you take care of your body? How do you take care of your body right now? Maybe there are very good practices that you do. Maybe you are already taking cold showers. Maybe you're uh, uh, already doing intermittent fasting. Is there a new practice that you would like to add? You would like to do yoga. You would like to go running. You would like to do breathing exercises. So investigate in which way you're taking care of your body and consider new ones. Consider different ones. And number four, and possibly the most important one, are you taking care of your spirit? In which way are you taking care of your spirit? And I'm not talking about being religious, but uh, maybe you are. But are you taking care of being grounded in this life and connected to everything that, that, that is in whatever concept you have? Do you have time to meditate? Do you give yourself time to be in nature? Do you have time to be present for your children? What is the current practice to take care of spirit? Spirit, the easiest way I could possibly explain is you feeling at peace when you will be in your deathbed. Can you imagine? being on your deathbed and remembering, I, I had a great life. Can you imagine that? That is taking care of your spirit. So what is your current practice? For me, I go back to my journal to see how I'm living my life today, how I could be living it tomorrow. i changing. New practices, this work, this helps me, this doesn't help me. So there you have it. Four ways of identifying, making a kind of inventory of your self-care. Your mind, your mind, your emotions, your body, and your spirit. Look at what is your current practice and think of how you can modify it. I wish you a wonderful day. And of course, you're welcome to contact me. If you are a lady who would like to improve the quality of her life by having more confidence, power, and calmness, contact me. I will be delighted to help you. Have a wonderful day. 